Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Tarl Speech with your heteronym lesson. Heteronyms are words that are spelled the same, but they have different meanings and different pronunciations. Our words today are proceeds, which is money obtained from an activity, and proceeds, which is to begin or continue a course of action. So there is the word. So to say these words correctly, they are going to end the exact same way with the word seeds, like when you plant seeds. And to do this, you're gonna start with that S, S, air just continues out of your mouth. The tip of your tongue is either pointed down or is behind the top front teeth. It is not touching. Then we're going to move to that long E. It's only one E. I wrote it with two just so you remember to keep it really, really long. And to do that, you're going to smile and your tongue is going to be high and flat in your mouth. End with that D, D, by touching the tip of your tongue to the back of your top front teeth and letting it pop down. When it pops down, let that air move out of your mouth again for that Z sound. Zzz, seeds, seeds, seeds. Now let's jump to the beginning. We're going to start both of these words with that P, R sound. Let's think of this as one sound for this lesson. Think about starting that R, er. The tip of your tongue is either down or flipped back. Back of the tongue is pulled high up and your lips are square and tense. Think about getting your tongue in that position. Then close the lips. As you open the lips, you're ready for the R. Okay, so let's try that. Purr. Purr, purr. This way, when you do that, when you get ready for that R, you don't add that extra sound after the P. It just sounds like one smooth continuation from the P to the R. Purr, purr, purr. Now let's talk about word stress here. A common rule is in heteronyms, when a word is a noun, we are going to stress syllable number one, and when it is a verb, we're going to stress syllable number two, and that holds true in this case. When we stress something, it's louder, higher, and the vowel is longer. So in this case, we're going to use the long O in proceeds, and to do that, open your mouth and then pucker for that O. And then for proceeds in the verb, we are going to use that schwa sound, that short a uh sound. It's a very relaxed sound and your mouth is just open and tongue is kind of hanging out in the middle of your mouth. Okay, so let's put this all together. Let's start with the noun stressing syllable number one, proceeds, 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 proceeds. And now for the verb. Proceeds, 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 proceeds. Proceeds, 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 proceeds. And now for a sentence. The charity will proceed to spend the proceeds from the event on their programs. Give it a try. I know people are going to notice the difference. Thanks for sharing me with your friends and giving us likes. If you need help, check out the description with our link tree below. Thanks so much, everyone. Have an amazing week.